Developmental service worker, main, one of our main roles is to try and promote independence in individuals who have developmental disabilities and promote community inclusion. One of the tools that we'll often use are assistive devices. One of the challenges with assistive devices is that they can be very costly. So the students were tasked with selecting a developmental disability, determining a barrier that an individual with that disability may face, and then to develop and devise an assistive device that would help overcome that barrier. And they did some amazing jobs. I created a towel that can be held up um, without, without being tied around your waist and that it won't slip um, when it's being worn by the person. It also has Velcro here. Um, I specifically made it for my brother, so when he goes to the beach or to the pool, he uh, does, doesn't like the wetness of his suit, so he can wear this and still take his suit off right away without being um, inappropriate in public. <laughs> so I created a bracelet to help individuals with Down syndrome or autism with independence, so it's a name, so their name, and then a phone number of someone they can call if they're ever like in trouble. Yeah, and they just wear it so it clasps on and off. So when they're at home, they can take it off. If they're a male and they don't like a bracelet, you can make a keychain for them. And it was literally like $5. I made this for someone who has high anxiety. They uh, don't like to wait for long periods of time. It makes them very anxious. And they like to fiddle with things. So I made this so that they can store their fiddles inside and fiddle with them inside the muff so that people won't watch them. It helps to reduce their anxiety. So I made this up with someone who doesn't have good fine motor skills. So holding keys tends to be difficult. So I added, this used to be a tool that you'd use to fix screens, so I just took the tool part out and added some keys, so you just stick it in the door and you turn. So it's just a little handle. This is actually a weighted blanket that I made. Um, on the front of it is um, Velcro to signify Velcros for shoes um, to help people learn that everyday skill. Here's a zipper that zips up and down to help people learn how to do up their jackets and their sweaters. And then right here are buttons for pants, shirts, jackets, whatever it may be, things to fiddle with. And then um, it actually comes apart and you can remove the rice and wash the lining. Um, children with fetal alcohol have many different sensory issues. Um, so I put a couple different types of calming bottles in here. Um, this one's typically a favorite, it's water and oil. There's some glitter and stuff. Um, this one's great for timeout, kind of shake it up and then watch it settle down as they're on timeout. This one's more just um, for color, just to kind of look at. And then this one's more of a noise kind of shaker. In the white rice, there's a couple different colored objects and the point is to just play I spy. I made a couple homemade like stress balls. So this one is filled with these little jelly balls. It gives it more of like a squishy feel. This one I filled with flour. This one's really cool to squish. And then the last one I filled with rice just to kind of give different textures and feels. I also included a fidget necklace just because um, children with fetal alcohol struggle in stressful situations and big crowds so this is something they can always just kind of wear and fidget if they feel anxious or nervous. This is glitter paint that I made out of hair gel. Um, just because again with the sensory some children can't handle the smell of actual paint so just with the hair gel it makes it smell nice and fruity.